as you can see this is IdeaPad 5 14 IIL05 model and somehow the Windows is not working so today in this video we're going to reinstall it so to reinstall you need to have this one which is Windows 11 UEFI bootable thumb drive as you can see okay and if you don't know how to create one you can check the video link would be in the description once you created the bootable windows thumb drive connect into any usb port done i connected my external mouse which is this one all right and i'm going to switch this off good now what Lenovo does to get into BIOS, they don't keep any sort of keys, for example, functional keys or some ThinkPad. If you hit enter, it interrupt the normal boot and get to the options. If you press F1, it takes you to BIOS. But this one doesn't have this sort of facility. So what are you going to do? We're going to use some sort of pin like that, as you can see. And on the left hand side, next to the charger, make sure the charger is connected. There is a hole. As you can see here, there is a hole. There is a switch underneath. So what are you going to do? While the machine is switched off, we're going to click. Make sure it's switched off. We're going to click there. One second, let me check. We're going to click like this. You see the power light came on. The screen would have no button menu. From here, we're going to get to BIOS settings. As you can see like that, hit enter. And it's going to take you to BIOS. So there are a couple of settings that we need to go. Configuration, which has to be like that. Then security, which is secure boot. By default, that is always enabled. You have to keep it enabled. And then go to boot section, which is on the right hand side. And then from here, as you can see, the boot mode has to be UEFI. And then from here, we're going to choose. This is my USB stick. The USB stick that you see, that is this one. This is the boot priority option. So what are you going to do? We're going to press F6 to first select it. So white is highlighted. F6, fine. We're going to save this by pressing F10. And we're going to hit enter. It's going to restart and load up from this USB stick. And we would be able to install Windows. Wait for it. Here we go. All right. So the trackpad is no longer working, which is absolutely fine. We're going to go for next install. So accept the terms and condition and hit next. Now there are a couple of options. We're going to choose the bottom one because this is the one to do the clean installation. And here you can see all the existing partition. That might have data, so be careful before you delete it. I don't have any important data, so I'm going to delete every single partition just to make a single partition because the actual SSD is only 120 gig. So delete one by one if you don't have any important data. And when you are happy with the single partition, hit next. Now it's going to copy all the files and folders to the right directory. And then it's going to be finalized, take some updates, and then it would be done. But during this installation, you might face some sort of trouble with the trackpad. So I would suggest you to have any sort of external mouse. If you don't have, you can use the tab key and the space key and up and down arrow to complete this task. Okay, so I'm going to choose whatever is needed right here. As you can see, I'm not going to connect to Internet because I don't want to get some sort of updates at the beginning. So it's going to finalize now. It might take a few minutes, but that should be absolutely fine. It's nearly done. And finally, the Windows has installed correctly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.